Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Four-star running back Roderick Robinson drops his top six. You can see Tennessee right there in the mix. He was just recently in Knoxville for an unofficial visit. Uh, so we'll take a look at his recruitment, see where Tennessee stacks up. He is a bigger, more physical back. That's something that excites me. He looks like a legitimate SEC running back. But like I said, we'll get into his recruitment. As always, do me a favor. Go ahead and smash that like button just below the video. It's quick. It's free. It's easy. Uh, it helps the channel. Also, if you're new to the Talking Falls Network, welcome. We're not experts. We're not insiders. We are fans just like you. So if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. You won't miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. Uh, don't forget tomorrow night, Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, NCAA 2013 stream. Come hang out, play a little football, and shoot the bull. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it here in just one second. You guys know the catchphrase by now. For the fans, by the fans, the boys over at Volunteer Utility Services are fans just like you and I. They handle all commercial and residential excavation needs, utilities, septic tanks, irrigation installs, dog fences, and more. They also do landscaping, masonry, concrete work, and junk removal. Give them a call, 865-320-6194. That's 865-320-6194. Or check them out on social media. I'll drop the links to that in the description below. For the fans, by the fans. Show some love for not only an East Tennessee local business, but also a member of the Talking Balls family. Volunteer Utility Services. So let's take a look here at this article from On3.com. Again, four-star running back Roderick Robinson, the second name's top six schools. Uh, the article here says San Diego, California, Lincoln running back Roderick Robinson II has narrowed down his list to six schools, Arizona, Auburn, Cal, Oregon, Tennessee, and UCLA. Robinson's the number 344 overall recruit in the class of 23, according to the On3 consensus, a complete and equally weighted industry-generated average that utilizes all four recruiting media companies. Now, when you break it down and look individually, 24-7 sports and On3 uh, both have Robinson as a four-star, and then ESPN and Rivals do have him as a three-star. Uh, says he previously dropped the top nine list. Uh, Auburn is the lone school that didn't make the top nine to make Robinson's top six, but jumped into the mix after a visit to Auburn last weekend. You can see there the tweet that I just showed you guys, uh, thanking every coach that has recruited him throughout the entire process. And now listening to his interview with Austin Price over at VolQuest, sounds like he wants to make a decision by mid-June, but then he follows that up and says, if not by mid-June, then maybe mid-August. Uh, the reason for that is his senior season of high school football starts uh, the weekend after August the 18th. So it sounds like, you know, some of these kids, they, they, they enjoy the recruiting process, but they want to get it over and done with. They want to move on and they want to focus on high school football. And that appears to be the case with Roderick Robinson. Uh, the article goes on here to say, had a great performance the other month at the UA Next Camp Series Los Angeles with On 3's Joss Hastings naming him one of the top players at the event. Now, here's the quote about that. It says, from a physical standpoint, Roderick Robinson was the biggest running back at Sunday's camp. He was listed on the UA roster at 6'1", 230 pounds, and could have easily fooled us into thinking he is a linebacker if he made the switch to that position. Uh, that's that's worth noting because, again, when we look at the running backs, that's something that it's been a concern for for all of us. When we look at the guys that Josh Heupel is recruiting to come in, and, yeah, you know, his offense is different. It's, it's more of a spread offense. But we talk about the need for a bigger, more physical back, especially in the SEC. And Roderick Robinson, that's something that Jerry Mack has talked about. He likes him because he is a legitimate SEC back. He's got the size and ability to play in the SEC. Uh, the quote here goes on to say, on top of looking the part physically, Robinson moved well for his size. There were not any plays where he, uh, where he burned linebackers in the passing portion of the camp, but his cuts to the outside or even some routes down the sidelines were effective. Robinson did not drop any passes from what we saw and created enough separation for his quarterback to deliver him the ball without having to fit it into any tight windows. Uh, again, Robinson, four-star prospect, class of 23. Uh, one thing I do like about him, you know, talking about him being a big, more physical back, he says he's not limited to that. And again, in reading different interviews with him, he says his game is almost deceiving, that he's got more speed than people think. Now, reading uh, one article, I saw that he does run a 4640. 
Uh, but he also plays in a spread offense, so he's, this is something that he's uh, familiar with, this type of offense. Had 1,300 yards as a junior on 185 carries. Also had 17 touchdowns. Uh, but again, just coming off a recent unofficial visit with Tennessee, I uh, had a lot of praise about, about this coaching staff. The same, same things you tend to hear, especially when it comes to Josh Eiple. They always talk about his relationships with players. That's something that Roderick Robinson again mentioned in the interview with Volquest was, you know, that Josh Eiple the real deal his relationships with his players is authentic that's something that Roderick Robinson wanted and when asked about his official visits because that's what he's getting lined up now he just finished a round of unofficial visits he wants to get a schedule set up has not done so yet uh, and he hasn't indicated whether or not he will make it back to Knoxville for an official and I think that's going to be obviously a big factor in this thing can Tennessee get him back uh, on campus for an official visit. When you look at on three, the prediction machine, they've got USC way out front, 37.2% chance. Uh, also have Arizona and Oregon up there near the top. And then Tennessee kind of falls in line with, with Auburn and, and the other top six at 8%. 8% chance, but again, I think you know recruiting is fluid, and, and how much of an impact did this coaching staff make on Roderick Robinson while he was in town, but then also, he's a West Coast kid, he's friends with Nico, he, he mentioned that specifically uh, in the interview with Austin Price, talked about how they're boys, but Nico's going to give him his recruiting pitch, but he knows, he's like, Nico knows I'm going to go where I want to go, so I think this whole thing is going to boil down to whether or not this coaching staff can get him back on campus for an official visit before he makes that decision again in the mid-June time frame. So that, that's going to do it. Rod, Roderick Robinson, again, four-star running back, drops his top six. Uh, he lists Arizona, Auburn, Cal, Oregon, Tennessee, and UCLA. We talk about that Nico effect. How much pull does Nico have? Can Nico convince him to get back on campus? You know, Tennessee's got a big recruiting weekend coming up at the end of the month. They've got another one coming up in June. I think really – High school recruiting is going to be kind of slow over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll continue to pop out any information that comes up. Keep your eye on that Central Florida wide receiver transfer. Uh, he also was in town over the weekend visiting with the coaching staff. Uh, sounds like he's going to make a decision pretty quickly. Is it more NIL-based? Is it more playing time-based? What is he looking for? Complete gut feeling. Maybe I'm speaking from the heart. I feel good about it. I think I think he is going to end up at Tennessee, and I think he's going to fit in this offense well, and I'm excited about what he brings to the table. But I think that's probably the next one to keep an eye on, see if the Central Florida wide receiver ends up at Tennessee. Other than that, probably going to be quiet over the next couple of weeks. We'll continue to pump out content as news drops. Uh, hit that comment section. Let me know your thoughts on Roderick Robinson. I know you guys have to be excited when you see the size and the ability. 6'1", over 230 pounds. Uh, this kid is for real, and he is a legitimate SEC running back. But hit that comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you have not done so yet, please smash that line, uh, thumbs up on the way out the door and go check out the official merchandise of the Talking Balls Network. Let me get it pulled up. You can go to bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. Any and all support greatly appreciated. Obviously, the elite shirts. If you're elite, if you know, you know. Uh, if you join the channel, become a member of the Elite, you can rep it with that Elite shirt. But the new favorites, man, the Beat Bama, Beat Florida, Beat Georgia shirts. You guys asked for these. We put these out just for you guys. So go pick one up. They're available in hoodies, T-shirts, all kinds of different designs. Uh, but again, any and all support, greatly appreciated. That's bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. I'll drop all the links in the description below. But that's going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.